today I want to show you a low-level restoration of the Auga horn. In a previous video, you might have seen uh, us testing the horn, which was very rusty and the motor was a little stuck, we had to lubricate it and so on. The horn, this horn, I took this completely apart and used paint stripper to remove all the previous old paint. Then we used a primer and a high gloss um, paint uh, from a spray can. So it turned out pretty good. But now that all the parts are dry, we can put it all together. The horn consists of this front horn baffle. It has a front screen in the front. Okay, here's what the inside looks like. It also has this um, vibration disc. You see this vibration disc has a little tab in there on one side, nothing on the other. This tab comes in contact with the motor body and this body has a cam and a little wheel with raised points here. When the motor turns this little wheel rotates and hits this comes in contact with this point here and it vibrates this disc. This disc vibration comes through this baffle here and makes that ogle noise. So and then this piece here is the cover for our motor. We have in our kit four gaskets. Now we're not going to need all four gaskets but they're so thin that I'm just going to double them up. We only really need two gaskets for this horn. So here's how we're going to be begin. We're going to turn this horn upside down and the first thing we're going to do is line up two gaskets on top of this. Now what's important to see here there's all different types of holes and what I'm going to line up here is there's a double hole here which is here and here and I'm just going to line this up just like this once I have the two gaskets lined up on the horn part the next piece that goes on top of that is this baffle this disc now notice this disc has a uh, has a cutout right here. Well, the horn baffle has a cutout also. The cutout is right there. So we're going to line these up. Okay, once you have your gaskets in place and you put your baffle, your little disc on top, make sure you line up your, your disc with your holes and that slot and then press it back down. Now, make sure at this point that this tab that's sticking up is facing towards your motor because that is going to have to ride on this gear and this ring. The next step is the next set of uh, gaskets. As you can see now, we have two sets of holes close to each other, and so is our gasket, so we're going to just place this on here. Here we go. Okay. Okay, so now once our gaskets are in place, the two sets of uh, gaskets on top of that disc, we're going to take our motor assembly and we're going to also line up this tab, this open tab here, with the one here. So, all right. Okay, once we have our motor assembly in place, we push it down to make sure that the gaskets are in place, they're all lined up, and it should look like this. Now notice there's two wires coming off of that solenoid, or actually the, the motor for this horn. Okay, here's that motor. And we have to put them away 
from that motor assembly because the next thing that's going to go on is this cover. Notice this cover has a cutout and that's going to be for excess uh, through the wires. So we're going to place that like this. Also on top of that cover there's two holes. One is larger than the other. The one hole is going to slip over, the larger hole is going to slip over the tone adjustment for the horn and the smaller hole is, let me turn it this way, is for the mounting hole to secure this cover. Okay, once our cover, motor cover is uh, in place and lined up with our two um, uh, uh, screws, we can go ahead and start using our hardware to secure everything. This is our hardware. Notice that we decided to purchase stainless steel bolts instead of your typical steel bolts, mainly because this horn is uh, exposed in front of the car to the environments and we didn't want it to get rusty. And it looks nicer altogether. What you're gonna find is you're gonna find these screws or these, these little bolts and two of them you need to have a little bit longer okay, than the others. The two that are longer, these are the two bolts that mount the horn to the mounting bracket uh, in front of the car. So make sure that two of these are longer than the other. There's another one here which is the longer one and that will be the mounting bolt for this particular um, cover and this cover requires a special bolt and longer than the others. Okay, okay so once our bolt is in we'll just tighten this up Once we place our bolt in our mounting hole, we'll just tighten this up. And the motor cover is secure. Notice the two wires that come out of that uh, cutout. The next thing we're going to do is install the hardware. Uh, I missed my bra. What are you talking about? I think what I'm going to do right now is because I want the bolts, the head of the bolts, because they're nicer and more uh, compact, I want them facing the front of the horn. So I'm going to turn this whole assembly the other way. Okay, so I have it like this. Locate the two wires coming out of the motor. And in between these two wires, there's these two mounting holes. This is the location where you're going to mount your horn mounting bracket and that is going to mount to the front of the car. Then the wires will go through that bracket. So this is the location of the two longer screws. So let's put those in here. Now notice how nice that looks. Right there. Okay, once we have all our bolts in, let's tighten them up. And this is what it looks like. Now let's flip our horn upside down so I can show you what that looks like back here. That's why I didn't want to <coughs> face the front of the horn with the back of these screws because that doesn't look that great. But here are the two longer bolts that we had installed. Now on top of these longer bolts, we're gonna install two more lock washers and nuts okay so it looks like this the reason for this is that when we install our mounting bracket we're going to use these two bolts and these two nuts to secure the bracket whoops and that's what it looks like so now we have a horn that looks pretty good and it's ready to go in the car. One last thing we have to do is to test it to see how it works. Okay, there's one more thing to do now, and that is to test it. 
so. It works.